Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is our series on the seven habits of highly effective people. Part four is going to be habit four, think win-win. Stephen Covey just switched the gears on us. The first three habits, they are all about mastering yourself. But now we're stepping into the world of relationships and things get interesting. Win-win is Covey's way of saying, stop treating life like a zero-sum game. Most people walk around thinking that for them to win, someone else has to lose. It's baked into our culture, competition, scarcity, the constant grind for more, more, more. Covey's over here saying, what if that mindset is actually sabotaging you? Win-win is about mutual benefit. It's the idea that success doesn't have to be a pie with limited slices. There's enough to go around if you stop looking at life like it's a battlefield. And here's the kicker. When you focus on helping others win, you actually set yourself up for more success. Crazy, right? But it works. Covey explains that there are six paradigms of human interaction. Win-win, obviously the goal. Win-lose, you win and they lose. Lose-win, you're the doormat. Lose-lose, everybody's miserable. Win, you don't care what happens to the other person, just give me that W. And then no deal where both sides just walk away. Let's be honest, most people bounce between win-lose and lose-win. Either they're trying to dominate or they're giving in to keep the peace. But both of these, they're toxic. In win-lose, you're burning bridges. And in lose-win, you're letting people walk all over you. Neither approach builds real relationships. Neither approach creates lasting success. Now here's where Stephen Covey gets clever. Win-win isn't about compromise. It's about finding a third option or a third alternative, a better solution where both parties come out ahead. This requires creativity, communication, and honestly, maturity. You've got to be secure enough to care about the other person's success while still holding firm on what matters to you. It's not about being soft. It's about being smart. Now, Covey makes it clear that you can't have a win-win mindset unless you genuinely believe in abundance, that there's enough success, love, recognition, and money to go around. Scarcity thinking is a trap, and if you're stuck in it, then win-lose is all you will ever know. But abundance? That opens up a whole new world of possibilities. But let's not sugarcoat it. Thinking win-win takes effort. It's not our default mode. We're hardwired for survival, which often feels like me versus you. But when you train yourself to look for the win-win, amazing things start to happen. Deals get done that no one thought possible. Teams come together instead of tearing each other apart. Relationships deepen because people know you're not trying to screw them over. Habit four is all about integrity and generosity. It's about having the courage to pursue your own interests and the compassion to consider others. It's refusing to settle for a win that leaves someone else losing. Covey challenges you to shift your entire mindset. If you're not winning with people, are you really winning at all? Now, as always, we do have the book linked in the description below, plus a free trial of Audible, so you can actually listen to it if you're too busy to sit down and read. Highly recommend that. Uh, subscribe if you're getting value out of this video, and we're going to continue with Habit 5 in this next one right here, so go ahead and click on that.